All right, um, I'm, I'm on. Okay, sorry we cut our network. And then uh, thank you so much for rejoining us quickly. Can you please come rejoin? Yeah. And then we don't know wh why we went offline. But we're still ready for you. I don't know whether should I take it from where I have stopped. Hmm? Yes. Oh, yes. We just went offline. Just forgive us. Yeah. So now, okay, please come through, you guys, uh, so that I can continue. You still remember, I, I believe, where I have uh, stopped, uh, where I'm going to start. Yeah, thank you. Uh, come, just come through, come through. Come through. Yeah. Come through. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, just share and I'm sorry for that. It's our network. It we don't know what happened. And just keep on sharing again. Mm. Yes. Just keep on sharing. All right. Cut the matter short. Then I have called them and then tried to talk to them. Then we've got evidences. One, there are cases that are open for both of them. And then because we discovered that they've done a lot of mess. When one, we have an evidence where Paul Musube has a uh, promise a woman that um give me fifteen thousand i'll send you an oil that will heal you from aids hiv and aids and then he took that money and then i don't have a problem for him to take money but he must not open a fake account on my name pretending to be Batagati or apostle Motlala, and take money from people and I will tell you the honest truth. I'm not the only one who's a victim into this. So, after that, while I was busy dealing with Paul and Bunu, we discovered that Bunu, he's been doing it, but Paul is a mastermind. Paul Mozube, he's a mastermind of this. And, then, and we discovered so many things. So I told them. When I told them, they ran away from Cape Town. And then went back to the churches on Sunday Easter to say we have mistreated them. Then I kept quiet. Then number two, Victor Bunu, he's not, uh, he hasn't re resigned from the church. I expelled them, both of them. This uh, fake resignation letter, he has put the fake resignation letter after a hot conversation. It's true that I have sweared them and I've told them where to get off. All right. Now, to take you to the, to the story, this is what happened. And then, so now, when they left Cape Town, that was um, on the 23. I told them that I want the church building's uh, keys. When I told them that I want the church building keys, and then I don't want anything to do with them. And then, uh, Paul sent me a message on the 23rd. This is the message. And then when he sent the message, um, I don't know how are they going to zoom it. And then he sent me the message. And then, yeah. 
and then this is my WhatsApp and go down. Yeah. Go 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 down and show him. Eh? It's it's off, okay. All right. He sent me the message and this is the message that he sent. And then he said um okay. On the message. This is what Paul sent. He said, now I strongly believe um, that you have evidence against us. You have strong evidence against us. Here is my comment regarding the issue. So when Paul sent me the message, and then he started blackmailing me here then when he started blackmailing me and then i send them the i send them the voice note and we, you supplied me with the legal gun i send them the voice note with that legal gun it's Come fine and point it. Got it. you're so stupid so when they so send the voice note that they've sent to you guys if you will tell me that you've supplied me with the legal yeah. gun and then you huh? come and show me the legal gun or you came yeah. with it. The voice note that these guys uh, so send, me, they must tell you the whole the, the whole story. They must not give you so part. They must give you all the conversation the of what mouth. happens. I'm in a position to take you far, 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 far. Then I said to so them, I've opened a case from for you. Then I sweat them. You seriously have no fucking ground. Then I said, you seriously have no fucking ground. So them, they send this to uh, their father, Jacob, uh, Jay. So after Paul sent me the same message, now it happens that um, Bunu sent me a message again. And then this, this message... It's what you guys see it um, going everywhere. This voice note. He said, good day. You have 24 hours to respond. You see. And then he said, I have 24 hours to respond. Otherwise, they will start a campaign against me. And then, yeah. This is Bunu. And then... They said, no, they will start a campaign against me. In the 24 hours to respond, they will start a campaign against me. And then I said, okay. If you see, I said, go ahead. Go down. I said to them, go ahead. So, the same day, J, uh, Jacob, if it's not the same, same day, I think on the 24, he sent me a, on the 24, he sent me a message, a WhatsApp. And then when he sent me the WhatsApp, he sent me this. This is Victor Bono. Apparently he has screenshotted them. Then after he sent this, he said, Baba, there's fire in the mountain. I say fire, what's happening? And then this boys by Ankel. They are taking advantage of people. This is what they this boys, this is what they've done. They've been uh, taking money from people, scamming people in my name, and then scamming people and then using my name of scamming people and taking money and tell people that they will heal them from AIDS. I said, they are, they are destroying my reputation. I gave them churches. These boys, we are paying them. This is an organization. And if this is an organization, I said, that cannot do. Then, so, this, um, Jay said, Ish, Bonobaba, I'm surprised they called me yesterday. Then you'll have all the voice notes. I'll send it to you. He said, I'm surprised. 
they called me from yesterday. So, and then Jay called me, Jacob. He called me. He said, he sent me, first of all, he sent me this. He said, your name is too big in the country. And then you don't need this. Uh, let me handle this boys for you. He said, your name is too big. I'll manage this boys smoothly. Your ministry doesn't need any problems right now. And then when he said, uh, your ministry doesn't need any problems right now, I said, it's fine. Then I was driving to church. Immediately after I've spoken to him in five minutes, he called. He said, hey, Baba. I said, yeah, Baba, sure. He said to me, let's make a deal. I said, yeah, I'm listening. He said, give me 300,000 rand. I'll manage these boys. We'll make these things lie. I said, what? He said, no, Baba, you are making mula. Give me 300,000 rand. I'll make this thing under the carpet. And then you don't need this thing. I said, uh, Jay, wait. Why should I pay you? Should I pay you for them to go and destroy my name? And for them to go and fraud people? And do people under my name? I'm not going to do that. And then he didn't call me alone. He called some of my friends. He said, tell my brother to give me money. Otherwise, we'll come after him. Then immediately, I was sent another um, WhatsApp by Bunu. He said, we will start a campaign against you. I said to, me, to them, go ahead. Do your worst. Then, Jay started to go live. He first went like he's going to Archbishop, to go to the ring, to go to some stuff. Then, he started to come against me. Then some of the brothers called Jay. He said, tell Moshala, I want money. He cannot eat if I don't eat. If he doesn't give me money. And then I said, I'm not giving him any cent. I'm not giving him any money. So now the question is, should I be a victim of blackmail by our brothers? Who are coming from Zimbabwe. I have people who are working for me. From Zimbabwe. I have people from Botswana and everywhere. Should I be a victim in the name of them. Going to say I am xenophobic. And I will tell you the honest truth. Pastors they must hear me. And everyone must hear me. I am not the only victim. I was staying with Jacob. In my house. I took Jacob from uh, Johannesburg. He had no place to sleep. He had no clothes. You guys, you are witness. Where I bought clothes for him. And then I, uh, we were even wearing same shirts. Where I took him and I treat him as a brother. So why should he blackmail me? And then he told me, he said, I'll fabricate everything. He said, Baba, you don't know. This is social media. And then I'm a guru of social media. I'll ask, 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 ask so and so. I'm not going to mention me. I said, Baba, I'm not giving you any money. Now, if I pay him 300000 now, because we open a case, and then the police, they're already trying to speak to uh, Vodacom and retrieve all those calls and stuff. And then I want the law. I was quiet because I wanted the law to take its cost. Should I be a victim of fraud? Simple. He has put a, 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 a on, on social media, he has been flaunting a, a bank statement that he claimed it's mine, which is fraudulent. Showing people that this is Moshala's bank statement. That's not even my account. That's not even my bank statement. He doesn't even access to have my bank statement. So that's why, that is for the law to take its course. But I'm trying to say and ask that, should I pay? So that I can keep people not to fabricate and go rob people in my name. I'm not the only victim. I was staying with um, Jacob in my house. He has been coming in and out. 
I know he knows there are people who are around who can come and testify. I, I have nothing against him who can come and testify. He knows the truth. He has been saying, Baba, you only move from church to home, from home to church, church to home, home to church. So now he has so many things to say. I just want to say to him, uh, thank you. But I want every servant of God to know that I'm not the only victim. Two, not even South Africans, everyone on social media, that we're not the only victim. I'm not the only victim. Should I pay for the rest of my life because I don't want someone to fabricate things? The issue, he has mentioned so many issues that I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to be. Number two, guys, go to social media and check how many people have, have given cars. And number two, this is an organization. It has a workforce. We're paying people. He had people working for him and ask him, has he paid them? And then number two, as an organization, we've got policies. This is Apostle Moshala. It's a brand. You can check. It's, there are so many people who are robbed by, by them. And I'm telling you the honest truth. Even in this thing of fraudulent, the way Jacob has put the statement and all those things, the things he claimed, even the videos he claims that he will put them on social media, I have them with snake queens and, and bad, bad. Uh, it's, not, it's not my problem. I want the Lord to take its course. And then um, some of the things, I don't want to talk about it. But my question is, should I be a victim of blackmail? Of the same people that I have helped blackmail me and tell me that I must pay them for the damage they have done. So I refuse. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've got your own time to judge. Let them continue. Let them say whatever they say. This ministry, it's not built through Facebook. This ministry has a reputation. This ministry has credibility. This Apostle Moshala, Njangoba, uh, uh, he's going around and telling people. And then we've got tangible things that tells you that we are doing God's work no matter what. And if I were to be a victim because of gullibles, people who are thinking that uh, they will victimize me, me, Jesus died for this thing. So I'm ready to die. But I'm telling you, I'm still saying, I'm not the only one that is a victim. I'm not going to mention so many things. I saw the post of Paul. I saw the post of Bunu. I saw the post. Let the law take its course. And then I want to say to them, and I want to say to the law, I am here. If the law, if I'm right, the law must be against me. There are big platforms in South Africa. We've got uh, SABC2, SABC1. We've got Moja Love. Let them take me into that platform and take Jacob, J. Israel. We go live. And number two, let them test us in our blood. Who is taking drugs? Who is not taking drugs? Then, it's, it's, it's up to, um, we've got big platforms. So those big platforms can, 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 can call Apostle Motlala. I'm here. Say, to want to. And then, number two, let the law. So, Shekinah, stop fighting. Those who are following um, stop fighting. So, whatsoever Jay says, it doesn't make me to be what Jay says. I'm not called by him. I'm not called by social media. I'm not called by, I'm not even approved by them. So, you can choose. If I had to be a blackmail and pay him money. And then he is telling people that um, uh, I'm speaking in my, um, in my house and sent him. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up. Wake up. Just wake up. This gentleman... I've helped him yesterday 
trying to pick up the pieces of someone that he messed up that helped him. And people said to me, this guy will turn against you. But everyone deserves a platform and deserves an opportunity. I gave him the same opportunity. And then after I took him and then I've done everything, this is how I am thank he's thanking me. And I'm very much humble. And I'm very much humble. So, there are so many things I can say. But I told you that I'm not here to, um, to blackmail and to defile his name. Let the law take his course. This thing, it's in the hand of the law. And then, Victor Bunu. Paul Muzube, I told you, you guys, I'm not going to speak to you. We will speak with the law. And this is South Africa. You cannot rob people and get away with it. You cannot do that. And then you cannot do things and then make us victims. And you go in the name, you say we are xenophobic. We, Seth, I will start today to be xenophobic because I've rebuked you. Because I told you that you are wrong. If it, it's how it goes, so shall it be. Let it be. So, I, I can say so many things. And then, I, I don't need to prove myself. I've been into this community, work for this community, do a, a social responsibility for this community. And number two, everyone who has worked for this commission we make it a point. So, he has put high profile people. Mention their name. It's not my duty. It's the law's duty. He has put uh, uh, so many uh, people next to me. And what I've noticed that, he mentions the people next to me. He hit them. He wants everyone to go away. I, I don't know how does he do it. And how does he live with himself? How does he sleep? I told these guys, you guys, you can't be greedy. If I had to prove for you that we were paying them, I'll prove. Not even one day we didn't pay them. Not even one month. Not even one day we didn't pay for everything for them. We paid for them. There was no need for, for them to be greedy. They should have been making programs, uh, uh, doing crusade, and then taking offering on their behalf. And then, but they've been going around and robbing and it has been a norm as i am telling you we have everything every evidence that he knows that that they want and every evidence that is needed so i'm still saying should i allow them to go to that what about the people who are vulnerable he's saying i am taking 300 trains of people how much should how much these guys have taken for people and what have they done with the money they've taken? Oh, he wants me to tell him what he does with this money. So I don't want to say anything. But I'm saying, this is the story. Judge for yourself. There's JJ Tiban. There's judge for yourself. There's Moja Love. Call us and be fair. Put us together and talk to us. And hear the story. I'm the one who was trying to help him. Because he has been given 30 days to vacate the country. I told him do the right way. That was last year. I'm the one who went all out to help him. So if that's the case. For me trying to help a brother. I was helping a snake. Thank you so much. But I want you to know that. Uh, this is in the hand of the law. I love you and I thank you. And if anyone wants to comment, I'm not taking any comment. I'm not coming here to prove myself. I have nothing to prove. If I will, has something to prove, I'll go around answering. And then, you guys, judge for yourself. But I'm telling you, Today is Apostle Mothala, a victim. Who is next? And the people from 
East London knows. The people from Johannesburg knows. The people from Deben knows that these guys have been ripping people off. We have everything, a party guy. Everything tangible. We have evidences. Number two, I spoke to Jacob himself. I say, open a church. You remember, you've been, we've been pushing a program in Sentin, trying to open him a church. He refused because he wants to do the route of robbing people. He wants fast, fast, fast money. We tried to do it for him in Pulukwan. I said, my friend, you are called or what? He said, ah, Baba. Once we set up a program, I said, go to do ministry. Focus in ministry and do this. He said to me, ah, Baba, this thing will take... I, 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 I said, brah, Shekinah has been here since 2006. I started fellowship 2003. 2006, I started a church. And then it has been growing consistently. And number two, we have evidences. We have things that are tangible. You cannot argue the results of what God is doing. So, thank you so much. And then my brother, thank you.